Z Show. If you've checked out the Drudge Report or you're on Facebook, you're probably hearing about, and, and I've seen a number of articles about Megyn Kelly taking over Sean Hannity's time slot on Fox News. And I wrote a short commentary about this on Facebook, and I want to read this because I put it very well. And look, this is a non-story. What's going on? Here's the deal on the Fox News hoo-ha. Left-wing websites keep repeating the line that Hannity has lost his primetime show to Megyn Kelly. This is absolute nonsense. Y'all act like you've never seen TV shows move to different days and times before. I read an article on a television website three weeks ago that laid all this out before Matt Drudge even thought about how to spin the hysteria like he always does. I wish I had saved the article. And and in fact, um, I did find an article very similar at the Huffington Post. I wish I had saved the article, but at the time, it wasn't any big thing. They're moving shows around. Hannity and others have lost some of their audience on Fox News. The schedule's been the same for 10 years. That's an eternity on television. Fox is still number one by a wide margin, but you don't stay that way without shaking up the formula. Megyn Kelly was headed to primetime months ago. That was the plan. She deserves it. She's a great show host. So in order to give her new program the most buzz possible, they put her in Hannity's time slot. If they had given her a new time slot at the start or at the end of primetime, it would not have generated a lot of media attention. This move was brilliant. What everyone is not telling you is that Hannity, O'Reilly, and Van Susteren have all signed new contracts. They're all staying at Fox News. The time slots will bounce around, but everyone is still seated at their desks, ready to go after Obama. Sean Hannity has not lost his show. The show is simply moving from one hour slot to another. And that's showbiz. Now, the article I read a few weeks ago about this is very similar to this article that I found at the Huffington Post, which was published on July 2nd. Four or five weeks ago, Megyn Kelly moving to primetime on Fox News. And Matt Drudge knew nothing about this, apparently, because he did not put anything on his website about Megyn Kelly that I remember until it was revealed that Megyn Kelly would be getting the 9 p.m. time slot, which is currently occupied by Sean Hannity. And Matt Drudge made it sound like Sean Hannity is out. Sean Hannity is losing his show. That was the insinuation. And people get all ticked off and they think, oh, Fox News is turning left. And it's not anything like that. They're simply shaking up the schedule, trying to bring some new interest. That's why putting Megyn Kelly, who is very well liked, in prime time is a very smart move. Megyn Kelly will move to prime time. The network, uh, the Fox TV, Fox News Network announced on Tuesday. Again, this was uh, on July 2nd. And Kelly will move to her new post after she returns from maternity leave. So Sean Hannity had a couple of things to say about this, I think, on the radio show. But um, what's funny here is that at the Politico... They say, if losing his primetime show to Megyn Kelly is rattling Sean Hannity, he isn't showing it. He's not losing his primetime show. The article at at the Huffington Post points out that Sean Hannity, Bill O'Reilly, and Greta Van Susteren have all signed new contracts. They're not going anywhere. They're just moving the time slots around. And what Fox News is doing is announcing the Megyn Kelly thing first because that's going to create the most buzz. And they're not giving you... (laughs) I actually think this is brilliant. They're not telling anyone where Sean Hannity is going to end up. He's going to be at 8 o'clock or 10 o'clock or whatever. Probably not later, because I can't imagine he wants to spend less time with his family. So he's probably going to be at 7 o'clock or whatever, but they're not announcing that yet. 
They're letting everyone go crazy and pass all these articles around, and the uh, TV news people are talking about it, and radio people are talking about it. Everyone is talking about Megyn Kelly is taking over for Sean Hannity. That's nothing but good for Fox News. That's why they're allowing all of this to go on. So here's Sean Hannity, just a bit, 30 seconds. Let's just say, in the end, I'm very happy. That's all I can say at this point. Right? Are you just going to let people's imaginations wander? Is that yep. what you're going to do? Yep. Yep. Pretty funny, right? The mind. Yeah, because everybody thinks they know everything, and they don't. It's uh, it's pretty funny, and I, I love people speculating. Then, of course, the Hannity haters come out in full force. Yeah, I hate Hannity. I can't stand him. He's dumb. He's stupid. He's a right-wing nut job. I love that, too. And if I wasn't hated, I wouldn't be doing my job now, would I? Okay, well, see, they're keeping it all very hush-hush for now. And I think that's great. Smart business, smart television. I think that uh, Megyn Kelly's program is probably going to be very good. And you're going to bring in some, uh, I guess, probably some more female viewers. I like Greta Van Susteren a lot on the television show, but uh, she and her husband are members of the Church of Scientology. <laughs> and I don't, <laughs> I don't mean to laugh, but, you know, come on. you got to be smarter than that. Anyway, so everything's fine at Fox News. Don't worry. Don't get rattled. Sean Hannity is going to be fine. He's going to be on television every night making the liberals go crazy. And sure, Fox News could use a little Jimmy Z, but we'll get around to it. I'm Jimmy Z. It's Big Jimmy Z Show right here at the JimmyZShow.com. The Jimmy Z Show.